after we get out of the bathroom, can we go smoke a cigarette? I really need one. But first, let me take a selfie. If taking a selfie is your thing, then the Juni S6S is the smartphone you should consider. Hi, I'm Nikhil Chabla from the Unbiased Blog, and today we review the Juni S6S. Journey S6S is loaded with great features and specs. To begin with, it has a 5.5 inches Full HD IPS display with a 2.5D curved edge display, 3GB of RAM and 32GB of ROM which is expandable up to 128GB. It's got an octa-core 1.3GHz of processor, 3150mAh battery and it runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Amigo 3.2. First things first, so let's go ahead and check what comes in the box with the Juni S6S. As soon as you open the box, you have the Juni S6 handset right there. As with all Juni smartphones, this one too comes fully loaded with aftermarket accessories like screen guard and silicon cover. That's apart from the usual adapter, USB cable, earphone and documentation. On the front you get the front flash, earpiece, sensors, camera and the touch capacitive buttons. On the back you have the speaker grill just below the Juni branding. Towards the middle you have the smiling Juni logo and the fingerprint sensor just below the rear camera and flash. On the left you have the hybrid SIM tray that can accommodate two SIM cards or one SIM card and micro SD card up to 128 GB. On the right you have the volume rocker and a corrugated power button for easier access. On the top there are no ports and the phone also lacks a noise cancellation microphone. On the bottom you have the microphone, 3.5mm jack and the micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. Geony smartphones are loaded with nifty features thanks to the proprietary Amigo OS based on Android. The S6S comes with Amigo 3.2 on top of Android Marshmallow. If you've ever used an iOS device then you'll find many similarities like control center that can be accessed by sliding from the bottom of the screen towards the top. Also as Amigo OS has no app drawer, you'll find all the icons on the home screen just like an iOS device. Apart from the nifty features, the S6S has proprietary apps like G-Store, Juni Abroad Service, System Updater, Child Mode, Theme Park, Mood Wallpaper, Mobile Anti-Theft, Chameleon App pre-installed. In particular, the Chameleon app is really fun to use as it lets you change the phone's wallpaper and theme by simply using the phone's rear or front camera. But my favorite app remains to be the user feedback app as it directly connects you to Juni's help desk. Through this app, users can share a generic feedback about the device or anything related to device components like camera, battery, launcher, etc. Most of the errors that can occur are pre-listed to save time and efforts. The Juni S6X comes with a super fast fingerprint sensor that can unlock the device in 0.2 seconds. The sensor also doubles as a capture button when clicking selfies. As the device comes with 4G VOLT support, we decided to test it with the Reliance Geo 4G SIM that we have. The phone's hybrid SIM tray can be used to insert one micro SIM along with a nano SIM for a dual SIM setup, or users can use a micro SIM and a micro SD card for expandable storage.
As soon as we inserted the SIM, we got Reliance Geo 4G Volte network support in full strength. Juni S6S comes with 3 GB of RAM and 1.3 GHz of octa-core processor which is further optimized by Omega OS to handle intensive tasks and provide great battery backup thanks to its 3150mAh battery. With Geo 4G SIM and few hours of browsing plus media consumption, the smartphone lasted a full day on single charge. And if you activate the extreme battery mode at 10%, you can easily use the device for another day with very limited functionality. Even though the Juni S6S is a selfie-centric smartphone that has plethora of ways to click crisp and tight selfies, Juni hasn't compromised with a real 13 megapixel camera. In outdoor, the screen is very reflective, thus clicking photos in the sun can become a task. Both the camera sensors on the Juni S6S are adequate, but the sluggish camera app takes a while to capture the shots and also lags when you try zooming in or out. In the camera app, you can slide downwards to access the Juni Studio. In the Juni Studio, you get options like HDR, Night, Panorama, Professional, Time Lapse, Slow Motion, Smart Scene, Text Recognition, Macro, GIF, Pic Note, Ultra Pixel, Smart Scam, and Mood Photo. Apart from the Juni Studio, you can access the camera setting to select the Capture Mode, Countdown, Guidelines front beauty, sound mode, picture size, geotagging, anti-banding, volume key. For 17999, Juni S6S is a great selfie smartphone considering it offers full HD display, a 5P 8 megapixel front camera with dual flash thanks to screen flash plus LED flash, a full metal body, fingerprint sensor, and a massive 3150mAh battery. So that was our review of the Juni S6S. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the Unbiased Vlog.